The Tragic Tale of Dido's Lament Once upon a time, in the mythical city of Carthage, there ruled a queen named Dido. She was both wise and beautiful, her heart guarded by walls as formidable as the city itself. Dido had known love once, a love that had burned like a thousand suns, but fate had cruel plans. One day, a shipwrecked hero named Aeneas washed ashore. He was a Trojan prince, a wanderer seeking a new home after the fall of Troy. Dido, with her regal grace, welcomed him. Their eyes met, and in that moment, the threads of destiny wove their fates together. Aeneas recounted his epic adventures, the wrath of gods, the battles, and the loss of his beloved wife. Dido listened, her heart stirring. As days turned into weeks, their friendship blossomed into something deeper. Aeneas, too, felt the pull, the warmth of Dido's gaze, the softness of her touch, the forbidden love. But the gods are capricious beings. They whispered secrets to Dido's sister, Anna, revealing that Aeneas was destined for greater deeds, to found a new Troy in Italy. Dido's heart shattered. She knew that loving Aeneas meant losing him, for he was bound by duty and honor. Yet, they danced in moonlit gardens, their souls entwined. Dido sang psalms of longing, her voice echoing through the marble halls. And in those moments, she forgot her crown, her kingdom, and the impending storm. One fateful night, Aeneas stood before Dido. His eyes held both love and sorrow. I must go, he said. My path lies beyond Carthage. The gods demanded. Dido's tears fell like rain. Stay, she pleaded. Choose me over destiny. But Aeneas was torn. He kissed her forehead, whispered apologies, and sailed away, leaving Dido broken. The city wept with her, the waves crashing against the shore echoing her grief. Alone in her chamber, Dido sang. Her voice, like a wounded bird, soared through the night. The ground bass repeated, a haunting melody that mirrored her heartache. She sang of love betrayed, of promises broken, of a queen forsaken. When I am laid in earth, may my wrongs create no trouble in my breast. And as her final note faded, Dido collapsed. Her spirit, too heavy to bear, dissolved into the winds. Carthage mourned its queen, and the stars wept. Whenever a singer takes the stage, their voice trembling with emotion, they channel Dido's pain, the ache of a heart shattered by fate. And there, my dear listeners, ends our tale, the tragic beauty of love unfulfilled, the melody that binds us all. Remember Queen Dido, and when you hear her lament, let your own heart weep.